Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create form views using the form builder. I have logged into my ServiceNow account. So we will be able to create form views using the form layout, form design and then the form builder. But ServiceNow now recommends using the form builder to build the form views. In this demo, we are going to see how to create a form view using the form builder. Click all. So we are going to create a form view for the users table. So search for user administration and then click users. Okay. So currently we are in the users list view. Okay. So here you could see a link which is going to take you to a specific user form. Okay. So now we could see we are in the uh, default view. You'll be able to confirm that by seeing here view and we could see we are in the default view. Okay. So and now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new form view using the form builder. You'll be able to either click the additional actions and then click configure and select form builder or you'll be able to right click anywhere and then click configure and click form builder. So the form builder will get opened in an another tab. So currently you could see we are in the default view, right? So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new view. And uh, you could see, right, the form builder has a lot of features, right? You'll be able to visualize, right, the way it is going to finally look like in the form. And in the uh, right hand side, you have an option where you will be able to uh, see, for example, right now it is a section. You can give the section a different name. So you'll be able to do that. If you select a specific field, you'll be able to modify the field details, right? And in the left hand side, you have an option where you'll be able to, you'll be able to see all the fields. You'll be able to drag and drop and add it here. And then you have the components. So which you'll be select, you'll be able to add a section. So all these things, features are available in the form builder. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a new view. So click more actions and click add new form view. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new form view, which I'm going to call it as demo, right? And then click create. Okay. So now the form view is empty. So what we are going to do is we are going to add the fields to it. Okay. So, and it has an option, either you want a one column or a two column. I'm going to select as two column. Okay. Then here you have an option where you will be able to click this button and then you'll be able to search for the different fields and add it. The first field what I want is the, the user ID. So I'm just going to double click and add it, right? And then I'll be able to click add here and then I'm going to search for the name and I'm going to add both the first name and last name, right? You'll be able to select multiple fields and add it in one shot, okay? And in here, I'm going to search for the email and then I'm going to add it here, right? So even you'll be able to uh, go to the field section and then you can search it and you'll be able to drag and drop here, okay? So I'm going to add uh, two more fields to this. One is the phone and I'm going to select both business phone as well as the mobile phone. OK, so now I have a so and I'm going to rename this session. I'm going to call this as user. OK, so uh, and here we have an option where you'll be able to add a new section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, another section. I'm going to give the name for this section as personal. Okay. And then I'm going to add a couple of fields here. So one field which I wanted to add is the gender. So I'm just going to add it here. The other field which I wanted to add it here is the photo field. Okay. So I'm just going to select and add that here. Okay. So, so we have created two sections and then we have added a couple of fields here. So now let us see how to add a field in the table. Okay. Right, so I'm going to add a field with a name permanent to indicate whether the user is a permanent user or not. Okay, uh, and then the type I'm going to search for the type is true. Okay, so I'm going to select the binary field and then, then I'm going to click add. Okay, so done. Okay, so now we have added this field, so I'm just going to drag and drop here. Okay. And here I'm now I'm going to save the changes. Okay, so the advantage of the form builder is you'll be able to visualize how we are going to see that right in the actual form, right? And also we have a preview option. You'll be able to click that preview, okay? And then you'll be able to see the preview of it. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to go back here and then we are going to move it to that view. Okay. Click view, click demo. 
so now we could see that we are able to visualize the data of the uh, the particular user using the new view demo and we could see the view name is demo here okay in this demo we have seen how to create form views using the form builder if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo